exist. Maybe it's because palm cockatoos live so long that they have time to learn so much. But it's a rare thing anywhere in the animal world to see a tool being used quite this deliberately. I think it's very likely that the female watches these drumming displays and can tell something about either the male or the nest tree at which he's performing. You know, there's something that she's picking up in the way that the drumming sound resonates inside the hollow. We don't really know, but I mean, she watches very intently. The choosy males will try two or three different drumsticks before they settle on one that they really like. When they actually perform the drumming display at the nest, it does seem to have a rhythm. But when he's finished with it, he'll often sit at the edge of the hollow and splinter up the stick and add it to the nesting platform that's inside the hollow. If the female is impressed, she will walk down and join him at the entrance of the nest to see if it's good enough to breed in. With the hollow approved, they can fly off to have a morning snack 